And breaking news at 8.54 as we follow the deadly shooting of North Carolina State Trooper. Our Beershell Edme joins us live from Columbus County where this happened with the very latest. Beershell. I want to give you a perspective of where I am. There are two main locations here in this investigation. Right now, I am in Fair Bluff, not too far from Roger Street. That is where the suspect's vehicle was found. It's a GMC, and uh, local police actually were able to track down this suspect. And from right now, what we've seen is really at least 30 to 40 state troopers, as well as several other local authorities who are here helping in this investigation. The other location of this investigation is where that trooper was shot. That is closer, about 30 minutes away from here near a convenience store. We were actually able to talk to some of the local business owners there, and they told us that they actually were able to get this entire deadly incident on camera. And the surveillance video, they say, shows the trooper walking up to that suspect's car, and from there, immediately, the suspect, they said, shot the trooper one time, then two more times before nearly running over this trooper, ending up here in Fair Bluff. So we are still working to gather some details. Again, we have at least 30-plus troopers here stationed at it's become somewhat of a staging area near the town hall here in Fair Bluff, looking to get more answers. That suspect is in custody as soon as we learn the suspect's name, as well as that of the trooper who did die. We'll bring that to you. But for now, reporting live in Columbus County, I'm Bear Shaladme with CBS 17 News. All right.